Hi there everybody. Today I uh, really it's supposed to be autumn. What are you doing here? Go away. All right, that's much better. Anyway, this video I'm going to demonstrate to you how you should feed a butterfly a moth. First, the facts. One, butterflies and moths can only take in food in liquid form. This is because of their mouth parts, which function almost like a straw, which um, only allows them to suck up liquids, really. Actually, it's not uh, a hollow like a straw. Um, they have this appendage called the proboscis. That's right. And it, it looks very much like a tongue. But um, how it works really and uh, what kind of nutrition they need, I'll talk about that in another upcoming video. But for now I'm just going to show you how to make, uh, how to feed them and how to properly make a mixture. Basically it should be a mixture um, containing of something with sugar and you should dilute it with water. Really it's not, it's not rocket science. But I'm going to show you anyways. There we go. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare the substrate, which is, to be honest, fairly easy and straightforward. The first thing you'll need is something sugary. Here I have honey, um, but you can use anything that has sugars in it, as long as it doesn't have artificial sweetener, because that has no nutritional value. Um, some people like to use plain sugar, like white sugar, but it, it can work, but I wouldn't recommend it. And that's because plain sugar is just nothing but sugar. And while things like honey uh, also have other uh, nutritional elements like um, amino acids and things like that, you know. Uh, I think it also ha maybe have some protein, I don't know. Either way, it's clear that things like honey have much more um, compounds in them than only just sugar, which white sugar, table sugar, is just refined sugar and nothing else. Well, it looks like my honey is kind of old and bad quality, so in this video I'm going to use agave syrup instead. But it's basically, uh, it will constitute. The second thing you'll need is something, um, well, you basically you need water. And the reason for that is because you want to dilute it. You cannot feed them raw honey. It's f uh, raw honey is much too uh, sticky for them. But it's also not diluted enough and too gooey. They uh, cannot drink this. Think of the mouth parts of moths and butterflies. Uh, kind of like a straw. And they use this kind of straw to suck up liquids. And well basically try drinking honey through a straw. It's not going to work. It's too thick. You need to to um, thin it out. Well, basically, sugary stuff. Fairly easy, fairly straightforward. There you go. It's not exact science. I mean, I know some people, they like to measure the amounts of stuff um, and make exact percentages, but I'm not like that, really. Here we go. We just throw, throw some water on it. Bam. And then make sure it's properly mixed. Now there's a large problem with the, the mixture that I'm making really. And it's important because as you can see it's basically just a plate with liquid on it. Now what will happen if I place a moth in this stuff? It will, because they are very dumb, they will literally walk through this stuff and they will get their legs sticky and they will get their wings sticky and their and you know their antenna will uh, stick together because of all the sugar that's no good so what i like to do is i like to put on top a um, paper towel it will absorb the substrate that i've made but this allows to, uh, the moth to walk on it actually and feed which is a, a big advantage so it's not going to drown in honey literally so let's get to the feeding. So here I am holding an oleander hawk moth. And what's interesting is what you can use is a stick. Which you can use to very gently unroll the proboscis. You see the thingy here? 
This is literally its tongue that it will use to drink. And you will have to guide it towards the food because it will not find the food by its own. You will have to extend the tongue like this and put it in the food. Let me show you one more time. Here we have the moth. And here we have the proboscis. It's hidden in here beneath the palps and you will need to do this and extend the tongue and place it in the substrate now let's try all right so there we go here we have the moth we extend the proboscis into the substrate come on And now if it really likes it, as you can see it's starting to drink, now I can slowly release it. Ah, see that's drinking behavior. I can slowly let it go with my fingers. And now it's feeding. This is how you feed moths. There we go. This is basically lunch time. It's a beautiful uh, oleander hog moth. What's interesting is it has a small aberration on the wing. See this patch here? It's actually brown instead of green. And it has some strange birth defect on it. Looks like black scales or something. Strange. Well, this one will probably continue until it's full. So that's how you feed a moth, basically.